a lot of lashings. Do we use lots of lashings? We do, not for necessarily the same reasons, but it's, in some areas they're the same. For example, up at our trampolines, which are up at the bow, where they're connected to the, to the boat themselves, we've used lashings there, and that's to keep them tight and keep them secure. The other areas we use is on our main sail, where the sail attaches to the, to the mast, they actually attach onto sliding cars, and we use lashings there. It, it allows for space, and, the, and they're very strong. We also use rope and splices, and so we have a, a situations like these ones in front of us. The reason that we splice is that if you use a knot, it can reduce the strength of the rope by up to 40%. But using a splice, you don't lose any strength in the rope at all. The Walker Hurdle will use lashings to keep our hulls together. Is that what we use? No, so our boat is made with fiberglass, and so the whole hull is formed in one mould and, and how they form it they're able to put big curves in underneath and the big curves give the boat strength so that we're not loading loading certain points of the boat. What is the mast made of? Like how do we keep it up? So our mast is just one big length of aluminium and it's hollow in the middle and it's held up with big steel wires, stainless steel wires that come down to the hull basically in three spots and that holds it up. So what do we use the mast for? So the mast is used to put the sails up and then obviously the sails are used to catch the wind. So the higher up we can get the sails and the more area we can get, the more wind we can catch. And the sails are what drive the boat forward. What are the sails made of and like how do we get it up? So the sails are made from Dacron, which is a modern material. And Dacron's very strong and it doesn't stretch. To, in order for the boat to move forward, the, the sails can't stretch. Um, now we get them up using the technical term as a halyard, but it's basically a rope that is used to pull the sail up, either up the mast or, or out from the forestay. We use either a manual winch or an electric winch. By using the winches, we can pull the sails in tighter, which means we can sail closer to the wind and if we want to sail with the wind behind us, we can let the ropes out and the, and the sails will belly out and allow us to sail downwind. We don't navigate by the stars, do we, Dad? No, we use GPS, which is Global Positioning System. And what that is, is the satellites up in space, they transmit down, and we have a receiver on the boat. And with the receiver, it triangulates, there's a good word for you, it's something to use in maths, and it creates our position so we know exactly where we are. Thank you.